Britain's Digital Railway. So, I get it. There's going to be more and more passengers on the railway, so we need to find a ton of clever ways to fit everyone on. Yeah, so some new lines, getting rid of bottlenecks, new faster trains and, you know, all the cool technology. All sorts of stuff. But basically, a train's never going to be as fast as an aeroplane, is it? I don't know. Have you heard about the Hyperloop? Isn't that what I have for breakfast? Mm, a nice big bowl of Hyperloops. No, Dan. It's an incredibly cool new kind of train they're working on. Check it out. Whilst it sounds like something from a science fiction movie, Hyperloop is a real concept and engineers are working to make it a reality. Here's how it works. A Hyperloop network would use a sealed tube or system of tubes, which could be in tunnels or on columns above ground, or both. Passengers and freight would be carried in dedicated carriages. Once loaded, the carriages would accelerate gradually, propelled by electricity through the low-pressure tubes. The carriages float above the track, using magnetic levitation, and glide at the same speed as you would on a plane. That's up to 700 miles an hour. Because it doesn't touch the track, friction won't slow things down. The technology would be fully autonomous, without a need for a driver, and being in tubes would mean that journeys aren't affected by the weather. It's thought that Hyperloop systems will be kinder to the environment, with a smaller engineering footprint, and your carriage wouldn't need to stop at different stations along the way. You travel direct to your destination, just like you do when you're on a direct flight. I'm not sure I'm built to travel at 700 miles per hour. I get pretty dizzy just being on a roller coaster. So what would it feel like riding in the Hyperloop? Pretty normal is the answer. After all, we don't find the speeds of air travel uncomfortable unless it's a very bumpy ride. With no turbulence to worry about, you can expect a smooth, not to mention fast journey. It's amazing how the Hyperloop trains won't even touch the track. It sounds like a magic trick or something from the future. Well, it says that Hyperloop might be in the future, but check this out, they're working on levitating trains already. It's something called Maglev. Now, whilst Hyperloop is currently only a concept, Maglev trains are already a reality. Maglev stands for Magnetic Levitation, and it moves vehicles without making contact with either the ground or an electrical pickup. Maglev trains float on a cushion of air. Carriages travel along a guideway, using magnets to control stability and create propulsion and lift. The big difference between a maglev and a conventional train is that maglev trains do not have an engine, at least not the kind of engine used to propel a conventional train along steel tracks. The maglev engine is rather inconspicuous and uses a magnetic field created by electrified coils in the guideway walls and the tracks to propel it along. Maglev trains need special tracks, and these are very expensive to build. Whilst they won't be as fast as the Hyperloop, maglev trains can go in excess of 300 miles an hour and that would certainly speed up journey times. I think I figured out how to solve all the problems on the train network. Bexlev and Danlev. Let me guess, we levitate ourselves? Yeah. When we get back to the Fun Kids studio, I'm getting the magnets out. Britain's Digital Railway, with support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash railway.